If you picked up a kit from the River Center Branch Library, it should contain one piece of pre-cut vinyl that also has holes punched into it, one needle, three pieces of colored waxed thread, four beads, and two pieces of twine. You may also need some extra tape and a pair of scissors. For the first part of the project, we're going to be stitching together the tool wrap. So get your piece of pre-cut vinyl wrap. You're going to need one piece of the waxed thread, so you can pick whichever color is your preference. I'm going to use the black for this one. So get your piece of waxed thread, and you're also going to need your needle, and you may need your scissors at the end of this part. So take one end of your wax thread and thread the needle. And now you're gonna use the pattern on your instructions to show you the direction in which to start to stitch your vinyl wrap. So we're going to be starting at the top left hand corner and you can see where there's pre-punched holes um, and the pre-punched holes correspond to the holes on the back. So this is the inside of your wrap and this is the outside. We're going to start by start on the inside by threading the needle into the very top left hand um, hole all the way to the, the outside and you just want to make sure that you're lining up your holes and you're going to pull it most of the way through but leave a little tail on the inside and we're going to use that to tie a knot in just a minute to get it started Now you're going to go back in through the hole right underneath that first one. Pull it through. That's all the way through. And you can tighten it up a little bit more so that you don't have too much of a tail hanging off. And then you're going to tie a knot here. Don't pull your knot too tight because you don't want it to bunch up the vinyl, but tie it just tight enough to secure it. Um, go ahead and double or triple knot it. And now you're just going to sew up and down through the holes following the pattern on the instruction sheet. So we're going to go down this row, jump over to this row, up through here, jump over here, down, and then here we're going to go around this eyelet, over to here, up, over, down, back up and then when we get to here you'll just knot your string just like we did at the beginning and then you should be done um, with this part. You're just going to be doing a running stitch up and down following the pre-punched holes.
And then you can use your scissors to trim off the ends here. And this is the completed part of the stitched tool wrap. The next thing we're going to do is make the tie for it so that when you roll it up, you'll be able to tie it off. The second part of this project is to make the braided tie that you will use to keep your case secure when you've rolled it up. So it's going to be attached to one of the grommets on the outside edge so that when you roll your case, your tie will wrap around and then you can tuck it under to keep it closed. For this part of the project, you have two options. You can either use the waxed thread that you have left over, the two colors left, or you can use the twine. The twine is going to make a bit of a thicker braid um, while the wax thread is thinner. So this is just a personal preference, but um, you will need two pieces. So you're either going to use your two pieces of twine or your two leftover pieces of wax thread. So for this one, I'm going to be showing you with the wax thread, I mean with the twine, because it's a little bit easier to see on camera. So take your two pieces of which, whichever you're going to use, unwind them. And then lay them out so that you've got both ends matched up. So line up the ends and then you're going to fold it in half so that all four ends are meeting and then find that middle part right here where the loop is. And what we're going to do is tie a knot about here leaving an inch right here. This inch of loop is going to be what attaches to the grommet. So find your halfway point, tie a knot, leaving about an inch loop. All right, tighten your knot. And now um, you're either going to need to attach this loop to something secure or you can get a piece of tape and tape it to the table so that it keeps it in place while you're braiding. Right, we're going to do what is called the four-stranded flat braid. So you should have your four strands laid out. You're going to take two threads in each hand side by side and twist them 180 degrees clockwise or to your right. So twist to the right. Now you've got your two twists up here and, your, and you've got two inner threads. So with the inner threads, you are going to take the right inner thread and cross it over the left inner thread. And now you've got a twist here. And you are going to repeat that over and over again to make the braid. So you go back to taking these two threads here and crossing them over the threads next to them and you can kind of tighten it up a little bit and you can see your braid forming and then you're going to do your inner threads again crossing the right thread over the left thread and then repeat that again these two threads go over the threads next to them and now cross the middle ones right over and then just keep repeating that. You'll keep braiding until almost the entire length of string is braided 
And then when you get to a point where you want to stop, just tie a knot to secure the braid. Then you can take your beads. You should have four beads. You can use two, you can use four. It's personal preference. And, or you don't have to use any at all. Um, but you can thread your beads through and tie a knot for a decorative addition. And if you want to, you can trim off some of the end. And now you're going to pick either side to um, attach the rope. So what you'll do is thread the loop through the grommet and then you're going to pull this part through after you thread the loop through. Find your loop again and then thread the ends through. Here you go and you are finished. So you can load it up with your tools. You could use it for pens, pencils, color pencils, paint brushes, um, small tools, lots of different uses for this. Um, and then you would fold your flap over, roll it up, wrap it, and secure it Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.